Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do an updated Lego Spongebob minifigure collection. Um, it's not too big of an update, it's just three new minifigures, but yeah. You guys probably already seen them on my channel, but if you're new, then I guess I'll just show you. Um, and also shout out to Ethan's Impressions, and first... We got Spongebob. This one's one of the new ones I was talking about. I got rid of that custom Spongebob. And I finally got... I, and I finally have an official Spongebob. He has really nice molded head. Hold on, let me take it off. He has a really nice molded head. Just like all the Spongebobs. And he's just really nice. Um, then we got... Then we got, um... Superhero Spongebob. He's really nice. He has all of his right parts, except for the cape. The cape isn't the right color, I know. But... He's still a really nice figure. Same molded head like that one, but just blue. Because he has a mask on. Then you got... Patrick. I know I should get a tripod. I need to get a new tripod because my other one kind of is stupid. It only films upwards. It doesn't film sideways for some reason. And also, I have, I have to like... For my stop motions, I have to get more lighting... Um, and also I need to, also I need to, um, uh, learn how to get my phones to stay, get my phone to stay still so I can keep it still. It's still really hard to do that because I don't really have any stands or anything that I can put my phone on. I guess I can make my own, but I don't know. We'll see. I might not have another stop motion until I get suggestions, so check out my last video and leave me a, a suggestion or an idea for a video so I can make more stop motions, because that video already has like 20 views or something. I don't know, 10 views. And then you got Superhero Pat. Has all of his right parts except for his cape. His cape, I know it's not the same color because I lost his old cape. It's it's brown. It's I think it was an old Obi Wan Kenobi cape I had from Star Wars. Then we got Gary the snail, which is my favorite character. And yeah, there's Gary, this custom built one. Then we got um, Squidward. He, um, is the minifigure head version. Whoop. In my opinion, I like the minifigure head Squidward version better than the, um, other version of Squidward. Because he just looks better, and then, I know the molded Squidward might look a little accurate, but his nose is like, um, I heard Super Miko on his one of his videos, um, he said that the molded head Squidward's nose is too low on his face, like, and there's, like, a space in between his eyes where they could have put his nose, but they put it too low by the mouth, so, shout out to Super Miko, by the way, go subscribe to him, get him to a thousand subs, but, anyways, let's move on to our next figure, um, then we got Plankton, which, yeah, he's... It's not the official one. I know it's a custom one because I lost the official one. He has two eyes. I know that. I'm going to make a new one probably until I get an official plankton. Oh, by the way, for another spot stop motion I'm going to do, I'm going to do a stop motion build of the Mandalorian battle pack from Lego Star Wars. Um... The man, you know the Mandalorian battle pack, the Mandalorian TV show, they made a Lego set out of it, and it's a battle pack, and I want to get it. I got it already, but it might take a few days, so probably later this week you'll see that video. 
around the weekend. All right, next figure is Mr. Krabs. This one's really new. It's my newest one out of all of them. I got him yesterday, if you guys watched the video. He has a really, really nice molded head. It's really nice. My only problem about this figure, though, I have two problems. Why does he have a sticker on his face? Why does, why does he have a sticker on his face? I don't understand that. And his eyes, and two, why are, his, why are his eyes so bendable? Like, I'm not gonna bend them because, look how thin those are. I mean, those can break off really easily. The Mega Bloks Mr. Krabs had better plastic than this. This is like rubber. Then they use stickers. Why do they use stickers? Why couldn't they just print on his eye, eye color and his mouth and nose? This isn't print. That's a sticker. I can feel the stickiness on it. It's a sticker. But overall, it's still a nice figure. He has a nice torso print with um, a little belt. And he has short legs like SpongeBob, so he's another short minifigure. I don't know why they give Mr. Krabs short legs because he's taller than Squidward, but whatever. Um, we got two more left. Um, first is Sandy. Sandy's a really nice minifigure, I would say. She's um probably my third favorite character, and she's just really nice. I love how they did her. They couldn't be any better than this unless they gave her a tail. If they gave her a tail, this would be at a hundred percent ten out of ten minifigure. But they didn't make tails back then in 2011, so they didn't give her a tail. Her helmet is only unique to this figure, I think. And it's a really nice design. I loved how they didn't skip the helmet instead of just go the lazy route and just give her the head. The head mold is really nice as well. But her smile just looks weird for some reason, in my opinion. Don't be offended. I'm, I'm just putting out my opinion there. But she, all of these are still really good figures. But we have one more figure left. And it's the Glove World Ice Cream Vendor Fish. This is the only fish I have for Spongebob. But, you know, he doesn't have the right torso because I lost his old one. But I do have his head and, you know, stuff like that. And, yeah, that is all, all of my LEGO Spongebob minifigures from Spongebob all the way to the Glove World. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.